What happened? Congrats on your 30th cancellation. 30th. Thank you very much. So yeah, Elon right. Musk even tweeted about the uh, the, the whole situation with me, right? Sweet baby ink, sweet baby uh, uh, blight on the gaming industry. All they do is make games terrible and try to cancel people. It cannot go broke soon enough. So even <laughs> Elon Musk heard about the uh, the situation. That is crazy to me. Now, what exactly? Did That's I kind of crazy about the uh, the situation <laughs> that is crazy to me now Funny. what exactly did I do well Asmin gold is a gigantic piece of shit the reason we're currently in the midst of what can be described as hell even for people divorced from the current situation well if this person's in hell where's the person that lives in Palestine or Ukraine you know I wonder like where does that rank on the scale cancel pigs are going after Asmongold and trying to get people to unsponsor him including Capcom Asmin has a right to cover gaming and have opinions I'm sorry what guys happened? harassment is not the same as disagreement and also people are talking about them getting harassed oh my god there are people commenting every hour for me to kill myself oh why because he, talk, he talked about a video game what, what did he say you die and i want to let you know it's not their fault look there's mentally ill kids on the internet that shouldn't they should be in like i don't true. know like, no no he's gonna say they shouldn't be on the internet i think that's true they should not be on the internet the internet is a crazy ass place you got mental ill people running around on here Everybody's mental ill, but mental ill kids are the worst because they don't have anybody to talk to about. You it. know, it's not their fault. Look, there's mentally ill kids on the internet that shouldn't, they should be in like, I don't know, like a mental institution or something, but we got rid of those. So they're on the Twitter. So how, how am I the harasser whenever I'm getting the death threats probably more than they are? And this is why, for example, I haven't really gone and tried to disprove or argue with people that are saying that I am a, you know, I, I let's see, what are the ones? I hate women. Hate trans people hate other races super racist love to harass people um what else did i miss something i hate <laughs> he is a super racist damn that's that's worse than a normal racist gay people yes yes i forgot about gay people yes uh nazi naturally um toxic come on i'm a gamer right um we have one more i hate women i said that maybe i, I hate fat people true so the reason <laughs> yeah, yeah, i hate fat people true <laughs> why I don't go in and try to argue fuck? with people about these topics is because I believe you cannot reason a person out of a position that they did not reason themselves into. There will never I be mean, yeah, understandable. Like nobody knows Asmund Gold besides people that have le legitimately met him. Like, sure, you could say you talked to him online or you've had an interaction with him on Twitter. I, I don't believe having an interaction on Twitter equates to having some type of verbal communication online and even having verbal communication online is not even equivalent to having a verbal communication face to face so like there's so many degrees of separation like even if you want to say like yeah i talked to asmin gold i sent him a dm and he sent one back again it the degrees of communication is not the same of words that will convince this person that I am not what they think that I am because people just don't like admitting that they're wrong. Okay, so maybe this video will introducing the second happened? round of Dragon's Dogma two official pawns. Hey, Isn't Asmongold the racist not. openly? I'm confused. What is Dragon's official pawns? What is this? Is this what is this? A misogynistic, transphobic bigot who doesn't even like the game? I'm gonna laugh so hard when he follows this cameo with a video trashing Dragon's Dogma 2 character's creator for being so trans-inclusive. Really? I'm gonna do that? I didn't even know that. <laughs> I that's didn't crazy. even know! It's <laughs> crazy. Did you guys know I was doing this? I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, that's crazy. Like retard? I don't know. It's just an asshole. It's a stupid asshole. I'm gonna be real, guys. Stupid the asshole. The amount of attention that I've been getting recently, everybody's talking about me. For everybody's what? thinking about me. For what? Because he's talking because he's gonna be on dragon's dogma bro he's gonna talk about the game it's more for now than i think it's like ever really been just a little side note while researching this i obviously read an insane amount of death threats but this tweet really takes the cake you have this person conjuring everything they can to vilify asman they get an insane amount of likes and then well i guess now we know who was the grifter after all and would you look at that I'm so confused. Wait, let me read it. Asmin Gold, the racist, transphobic grifter who openly hopes artists lose jobs and also lives in a pile of roaches, his own shit, and his tooth blood smeared on his wall. How this guy even, how this guy has even one watcher still absolutely baffles me. And then... Asmin Gold's fans have found this, so I'm gonna go ahead and mute.
But before I go, why not help the cute cats gal with HR? The GoFundMe. Well, I guess now we know who was the grifter after all. And would you look at that? It's so interesting. It's, do you want to know how Asmund Gold became the face of this shit? Because he gives his opinion online. And he's okay. Well, not okay. But he acknowledges and accepts the fact people are going to not only disagree with him, but people outright slander and attack him. But he keeps on going. That's the difference between Asmund Gold and random person 935 whose name is censored and they need a GoFundMe. You went and slandered this man and you 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 outright slander someone and you deflect by saying oh his fans found this so I'm gonna go ahead and mute. You can't handle the criticism so you say, but before I go, send me some money. You, you know why you probably haven't gotten any money? Because you don't defend yourself. What you should have said is, blah, 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 talk your shit. And said, look, they found out. Talk some more shit. And then throw your fucking GoFundMe up. Because then at least some people will respect you for having the balls Aha, uh -huh, ironic. To sit and stand up for what you believe in. Nobody's going to give you anything if you say, this is what I want. And then when people say, no, you don't deserve it or no, whatever. And you go run and hide. Nobody's going to respect you. Who's going to respect you? You're. Y'all do it to yourselves, honestly. We know who really was the do. grifter after all. And would you look at that? Sweet baby ink back with another whopper, then getting instantly called out and ridiculed by the monumental Muta. Would you look at that? And it's like, I feel like what I'm saying isn't that, uh, that crazy. It's really not. If you pissed off so many fan bases, it's amazing. So yeah, people just hate you overall. Well, people, the reason why people hate me, they hate me because I represent doing everything wrong and still succeeding. I yes. Yes, a hundred percent. You know, to succeed in life, you got to sometimes do things that make you a target. Because if you just grit your teeth and fall in line, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, no, sir, no, ma'am, that just keeps you underneath somebody else's finger. And when you're underneath someone else's finger, why would you expect them to give you anything? Why would you expect for your rights to be upheld? Why would you expect Big Corpo to vote in your best interest when you don't even vote in your best interest? Because you grit your teeth and you say, well, everybody else says I should do this. So I guess I should just do it. <laughs> but it is. I live in my mom's house. Yep. I'm an asshole. Yep. I never shower. I'm yep. an asshole. Yep. I don't want a job. Yep. I'm an asshole. Yep. I play video games yep. all the time. And I'm yep. still successful. Yep. There it is. And it's true. I can do the same thing. I'm an asshole. I choose to slow down my upload speed because I want to. I hang around my house. And I still succeed. Granted, I had to make a lot of physical sacrifices and some mental ones, right? Yet, I still succeed as well. And all I do nowadays is play video games. <laughs> like, yeah. But guess what? You can do it too. You can do it too. You can do it too. Yes. All you have to do is stand up for what you believe in. And then when someone tells you that's a bad idea, you keep going. You keep doing it. Now, if it's some legitimate good advice, like, hey, don't do crack. Well, no shit. Don't do crack. <laughs> like, come on. Right. 
But if you're like, hey, I want to be the world's best crack at it, well then fuck it, keep doing the crack, I guess. I, I'm not advocating for crack. I'm just saying. Do what you believe in. Do what you think is right. And if you publicize it, you're going to get a lot of people to look at you, whether they look at you because they agree or they look at you like, yeah, you shouldn't do what this guy does. If they're looking at you, you're getting ads. If you're getting ads, you're getting ad revenue. If you're getting ad revenue, you're getting paid to do whatever the fuck you want to do. As long as you don't break TOS. That, there it is. Asmund Gold is being canceled because he's right. Damn. Bow, 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 bow.